what do you guys, what are you guys going to do when a topic of politics comes up? Well, I just tell David what I always tell him, which is, I'm right, you're wrong, shut up. <laughs> yeah, but if we look at the history of the Charles Payne show for the last how many episodes? <laughs> well, somehow David once. Webb turns out to be right. <laughs> I agree with you Payne once. And, you agree with me three <laughs> times in a row. But you know what? I'm going to engage in it. Charles, don't be afraid to talk politics at the table. I'm with you. Let's have it out. Yeah, but here's the thing. You and Rick, I've seen you and Rick go at it. I mean, really, <laughs> like... Like, like, you know, like, and, and you guys re remain friends. People don't have the ability to do that. Why not? I, you know, people become like the Hatfields and the McCoys. I mean, have you <laughs> yeah, guys but, gone yeah, through periods where you didn't call each other for a couple of weeks? <laughs> yeah, but what's the side that's not doing that? Let's face it. Oh, no, the liberal no, no, side no. of this when you get, and I, look, I'm no, going to, no, no, let no, me no. finish. I'm no, going to exclude Rick no. from this because <laughs> Rick will at least talk to you afterwards. He'll talk to his Republican friends. But a lot of these kids on the left and a lot of these people on the left turn it into hate they turn it into i can't talk to you they're gonna go get a free room for the night they're gonna get away from the family hey you bunch of losers get over yourselves <laughs> that, there's no chalk and no safe space that works both ways i agree that there are people on the left who will do that that's absolutely true but there are also people on the right this is not a left or right problem this is a problem of people who don't understand that we are ultimately all on the same side whether we like it or not, and while it's okay to disagree, you don't have to yeah, disagree and walk away angry. Yeah, but which side is canceling angry. the debate? I get it. But you've got the cancel but culture out there. Right. Uh, there. If Ben Shapiro, if somebody on the right, anybody shows up at a, right. at a university, uh, well, they have to protest, shut it down, block the entrance. How well, many Republicans do you see blocking Democrats from going actually, to Trump rallies? Well, let me say, let me say this much. In. Come on I, in. I, let me, I, let me say, let me time say time this much because you one. two have been friends for a long time. But I got to tell you, you are exceptions to the rule. I want to bring in Rick Rigsby because... He is one of the best motivational speakers I've ever, ever seen and met in my life. And it's been too long, my friend. It's great to see you, Charles. All right. We know families have been ripped sure. apart uh, since the election of President Trump. And it's actually gotten worse. If you look at any poll, the gap is so enormous. We've never seen the divide this deep in this country. And next week at Christmas time, it's going to come up. What if I were to tell you it's not about politics? It is about decency. It's about respect. That's the bottom line. Someone's going to say, oh, but your guy doesn't respect decency. That's exactly right. So what I would say is let's move be beyond the, the, the veil of politics and let's look at common decency for just a moment. We used to call it civility back in the day. I, I mean, my, my mother and father, they disagreed with many people, but yet at the end of the hour, they stood up, shook hands, and respected each other. Here's the point that I want family members to think about on both sides of the turkey, if you don't mind. We don't have to think alike, but we need to think together. What that means is basically this. It's not politics that's driving this. It's a lack of respect. I watched factions in churches go against each other. I've seen factions in families go against each other, as opposed to realizing one fundamental thing about this great country. It was dissension that moved, that forwarded our entire democracy. People fighting, trying to come up with good solutions to govern, to advance citizenry. These, the, these uh, separations, these fights that you've seen within families sure. and within churches, did you ever see a healing? Yes, Did absolutely, absolutely. As a matter of fact, uh, my local church, the pastor stopped everything and had a discussion. One black, one white, two pastors. I happened to be the black pastor, and he really? was the white pastor. And we <laughs> talked, we literally talked from two different points of view. Our congregation, not everyone bought into it, but our congregation got to realize one thing. If we pause long enough to value other people, there is a possibility to decrease divide. It all begins with the fact that I must respect you regardless of your persuasion. See, I think that's it, guys. I think that's perhaps why you guys are able to do this. No. I'm just not sure if people respect each other enough at home to get this done because you're going to be tested next week for sure. Well, well you're presuming I respect David. I don't know where that's coming <laughs> yeah. from. Well, first of all, when I'm right, you have no choice. But no, remember, no, no. Look, so rare. look, I'm going to give a bipartisan moment. I'm wearing my Republican elephant cufflinks. Can you guys zoom in on this somewhere? Zoom in on this. Rick Unger bought these for me. So it's there true. you go. But I'm wearing my but, Ohio but, State but, but University here, here's, here's pin. Problem. We go got, bucks. We got to be raw about this, though. The, the protests, the violence, the block in the Berkeleys, all of this. 
Democrats have to tell these leftists to get the hell out of their party. Antifa has got to get out of this movement. Those that well, supported Antifa's tacitly, part of this but but they're tacitly supported by a lot of people. Really when you've got Keith but, but Ellison they, holding Dave up Webb. the manual, when you got they're sending a symbol. They, they, they Webb, there's a lot of people who aren't even they're like apolitical and they just have these strong feelings about one way or another. They don't consider themselves Antifa or anything, but they hate the other side so much that they allow it to disintegrate the family unit or friendships and. I don't know, Rick. I, I remember, Rick, you were so upset one day that you canceled yourself from this show. That was amazing. <laughs> That's true. And I've never canceled myself from this show. I did cancel Because I'd rather myself. engage in the debate. Because you were not going to like what I had to say. And but it it's not about what you like to say. It's not no, about it liking was, what you have to say, you, Rick. You don't know what that was about. But no, sometimes you do need to keep it to yourself. Look, you know, the college situation, this is going to be awful. I agree. I don't like the way it's happening now. But I got to tell you something something. Way back in the day when I was in school, the same thing was happening, but it was reversed. It was Republicans. It was conservatives who were barring liberals from coming on campus. I didn't like it then. I don't like Look, it now. I don't free like it in any way, but speech. we got a deal in today, all right? History is good because it teaches us something, but nobody's learned from it. When you shut down the debate, when you're afraid to engage in the debate and go to the reverend's point about yeah. about decency, you've gotten out of education. You've but gotten you out of learning to, from your opponent. I, I agree, that's but you've got to be careful right. and not tar an entire side with that. There no, are, what did I say? I separated them. I said yeah. Democrats need to talk to leftists. And let's well, face not, it, within not your not party... Well, blocking a, a, a speech on the campus is necessarily... Well, 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 why, so why I'm going to let, let, let you finish your... Uh, Rick, Rick so and, uh, and, and Dave, I'm going to let you finish your conversation I'm going to come back to, to, to Rick Rigsby here for a final thought here because uh, we are a divided we nation are. and and it's not going to heal itself overnight but it, I think it has to happen right you know I really believe that if we just remember one fundamental thing we represent the United States of America and I think that having civility having common sense having love for one another actually preferring one another isn't that the message of Christmas so why not take a breath listen to the other person, resist the temptation to fight, but listen. And remember, above all, dissension is a positive thing. It advances citizenry. Should Rick Rigby has been too long. Knives at each other Rick, David, Rick, and Rick. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the most civil Rick's ever been in his life. <laughs> well, he hasn't had, had a drink yet. Lot. We'll I'm talk civil when you buy. Hey, oh, yeah, see that? He's a Republican with his money and a Democrat, Democrat with ours. Yours. That's how it works. <laughs> all right, I'll catch up with you guys later on. Thank you all very much. Rick, Rick, and David, it's wonderful.